What's going on, world? Guys, life has a funny way of showing you that God's real. Like what I wanted to do in my 30s, like I did in my 20s. And then when I hit my 30s and I started thinking about what I wanted to do in my 40s, like I started doing in my 30s. And I still haven't hit 40. And I did everything, everything that I have in my life going on, what I accomplished, what I'm about to accomplish, what I have lined up, I have God with me. Like I'm telling you, put God in the middle of your relationship, put God first in any business decision, put God in any personal decision. God has to be your coach. God has to be your coach. He has to make the decision. He will tell you if it's right for you or if it's wrong for you. If it's a yes or if it's a no. But I promise you, when I look back at all the stuff I accomplished before, in my before 40, and I'm asking myself, man, what do I got planned when I do step into my 40s? I'm saying to myself, man, I can't wait to take this journey with God. Like, is it hard? Yes. Nothing is easy. Nothing is easy. Stop waiting for a handout. Stop waiting for that door to knock and someone to drop your, your career, your goals, your dreams Or It's not going to happen. It's not. You got to get up and work. If you work, God work. If you don't work, then God won't work. It's good business. God like, yo, I do what you want to do. Let's go. If it's game time, it's game time. If it's rest time, it's rest time. But let me know what you want to do in your life because I promise you, what I got planned for you, you are lacking. You lacking in some areas and I'm, I'm, mad, I'm mad at you. I'm mad at you because you know why? You don't see your potential. And I gave you a gift. I gave you greatness. I gave you knowledge. I gave you resources. I gave you the tools. And you want another man to come in and hand you everything? And you don't want to work for it? If that's that easy, you want not value it. And that's your problem. You don't value nothing. You don't value nothing that's given to you or that you got to work for. It. And that's your problem because you see it as a, let me, oh, somebody gave it to me, so I don't really care. Oh, I worked a loop for it, but the majority of the time, yo, somebody else did it. But when you put 100, uh, 100, 120, 150 into your work, I promise you, you value it more. But you haven't got there. You haven't put 150% in anything in your life. And this is why you got the results you got. You haven't immersed yourself in anything God has put in front of you. And that's your problem. Nobody else is the problem. You the problem. Until you get up off your butt and go make it happen. And you put a hundred and twenty, a thousand percent into what God is putting in front of you, you will always lose. I'm not talking, oh no, I don't lose, I learn. No, no, you will lose. You will lose. I'm being straightforward with you. You will lose if you do not start putting 100, uh, 120, whatever percentage, anything over 100 into what God has given you. Listen, this is a show. God is watching in the chairs. We're on stage every day performing. And if we're not performing at the highest level, we are, a wa we are wasting our time. You are here for a reason. You are here for a reason. If God gave you the opportunity to get up and still have breath in your lungs, blood flowing, you're able to get up. You're able to do things. You're still on this earth. You still have a reason. God still has a reason for you to be here, but you're lacking. You're lacking. You're wasting time. And you don't have no more time. You have no more time 
to be lacking, to be sitting there and letting life go by, and it is what it is, and whatever happens, you, it's you, you are lacking. You need to get up and you need to make things happen. Like, at what point do you say enough is enough? At what point? When do you tell yourself? When do you say, I can't do this no more? I can't have these finances no more. I can't have this health no more. I can't have these problems anymore. I can't have these relationships anymore. At what point do you tell yourself, this is enough? I want more. I want better. I deserve better. At what point? At what age? What age bracket? At what, what season? Like the time is now. Like this is this new generation, this year, everything that's going on in the world, and you still sitting on your butt. Doing what? What are you doing? Ask yourself, what am I really doing with my life? What do I want in my life? What do I want to do in my life? It's not too late. You in your 20s, it's not too late. You in your 30s, it's not too late. You in your 40s, it's not too late. You in your 50s, it's not too late. You in your 60s, it's not too late. You in your 70s, it's not too late. You in your 80s, it's not too late. You, you in your 90s, it's not too late. You in your 100s, it's not too late. You want to know why it's not too late? Because problems don't stop because you reach a certain age. That is the real reason. This is why I tell you, it's not too late. It's not too late because because you're in your 90s doesn't mean your problems stop. Because you're in your 20s and you got money flowing. You got your own place. And you're doing all this stuff. Problems are coming. We deal with problems. The problems stop when we leave. When we leave this earth. That's when the problems stop. But as long as you're on this earth, it's not too late. The problems will come. You don't think someone that retired, paid off their house, they got grandkids, they, re they, they enjoy life, you don't think they get signed in the mail? That bothers them? You don't think a phone call can bother them? It's not too late. So no matter what age you think, no matter what age you think, you gotta stop whatever you thought was gonna happen. I promise you, God's saying, I didn't throw in the towel, so why are you? It's your boy Lamar Wilson saying, uplift your mind before you uplift your phone. See you next week, peace.